This is them. Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Let's Play with the Developers. My name is Raycoms and I'm one of the main developers of the Man Colonies mod. And today is a happy and a sad day because it's our last day in this colony. Um, although we are good, we are going to do a few little things in this colony before we say goodbye but in the last 30 minutes we're probably going to do a little bit of survival training against a few parallel um, raider attacks and hopefully tomorrow we're going to start over in a new world on a new server and hi margo hi superman x and hi strotala Yes, um, the estimated launch date is going to be next Friday for the new Patreon server and we're going to start with a little head start into that. Um, but I also have more good news because I've been working today on getting some things done and uh, for once one of our developers Yes, I will be using the Space Wars style most likely on the new server. Um, one of our developers has been working on the serialization system. That will mean that things are going to get serialized on the client side easier, the request system. And that is going to finally stop the resetting of the request system with um, big colonies. Oh, we do need a bunch of white concrete. Do we? <laughs> um, and not only that, well, that is also basically finished. You know, one of the developers did a bunch of work. Um, we also started working on batching items together for the builder. Uh, let me dump some of this stuff here. Yes, exactly, the bucket system. And I have to say that we got fairly far with that. And we basically got a working bucket system ready already. Uh, let me drop off the things I don't need. Uh, that might be useful today. Um, that I want. Those I can sort around a little bit in the compass, I don't really don't need. So yes, um, I already got as far as having the builder picking up exactly the quantities he should be picking up. And doing that was highly efficient. Like I was able to upgrade a huge medieval uh, li um, town hall within not even half an hour. Hi Tiny Tots, how are you? And hi Inger Tan as well, how are you too? Um, so within half an hour, the level 2 to level 3 medieval town hall, like the enormous one, was finished. And because the builder did not do not even one unnecessary, and it actually did one unnecessary trip because it was taking care of over 4,000 blocks already to dump the blocks. But basically it did all of that in 13 runs, back and forth. So that was highly efficient. Um, what was... I think it, I need sand and gravel, don't, don't I? Um, I also already started working on the system to have the builder pre-request things. So not only will the builder then pick up the things, hi ninja, chipmunk, not only will the builder pick up the things, but the builder will also... Oh, awesome. <laughs> Welcome, Marvin. How are you? Yes, I will literally send self-made cookies 
to the five thousand dollar pat Patreon every month. <laughs> And 46 sand we also do need to create. Um, and we're going to... So basically the builder is not going to just wait around. But the builder is actually going to start pre-requesting the items as well. And this means that the builder will request all the things he needs for the current and next oh, bucket. And that will cause all of this to go much faster like I upgraded a um, birch citizen hut from level 4 to level 5 and at the beginning I had a few waiting I had all the resources in the warehouse right but after the beginning where the builder needed a few of the resources why am I running ah, I wanted to run there after the beginning the builder needed a few resources but after that the builder was basically building the entire remainder of the request without needing any resources like without a having to wait any time and yes he does take his inventory size into into account um, thus he will take up a maximum of 18 items so each bucket is a uh, Actually not 18, each bucket is his inventory size minus 9, so that there are always 9 slots empty for blocks he picks up on the way or blocks he picks up on the construction site. Um, yes, I want to make those stairs here, didn't I? And actually, again, we are on a completely new version here on the server, and we already have the bucket system on the server here right now. And some add-ons... Off. Yes, uh, we are playing with the bucket system at the moment. We can also see how this is going to work out. Um, although the builders need a bunch of things though. It doesn't have to pre-request system on the server because that had a few hiccups yet that I have to work out before really releasing it. Besides that we have the problem with the too big um, colony size yet. Um, I'm playing with the Firewolf Resource Pack and the Seals Shaders and High Mythical Minute. Uh, what else do you need actually here? So those are a bunch of things. Town Hall 5. Okay, that's why it's so expensive. Red concrete and white concrete and a lot of andesite. Okay. I do think we have all the red concrete already. Mm, yeah, I see. I did make a, a bunch of red concrete some time back. I only have to make a bit of the white concrete, but that's the cheapest one. Um, just certainly remember that one of the first requests players made was... It, the, the builder is very stupid because the builder only picks up a few things and not all the items he actually will need next. So I did some code so that the builder creates batches of blocks, I call them buckets, <laughs> so he creates batches of blocks and he's going to request, uh, he's going to pick up all these batches batch by batch so that he doesn't run to the build site and notice oh I need cobblestone and he runs back and takes up uh, one cobblestone, runs back over and is like, oh, I also need one wooden plank and runs back, gets a wooden plank, runs back and notices, oh, I need something else. So he's always going to prefetch. Yeah, I just called it, I'm just saying that it's kind of creating buckets of items. I'm still waiting for my sand though. Yeah. Man, uh, very slow. The sand is not so difficult to find. I'm going to find the sand myself quickly. Yeah, we're not going to update buckets. <laughs> we're going to use buckets as a term to update the builder behavior.
No, there is not going to be any bucket, no real buckets involved in this. No bucketing. No bucketing. <laughs> yeah, that totally makes sense, Ghost Runner. <laughs> Yeah, if you're here in a desert, so sand is a very wear and sparse resource. Here, there we go. Can drop off those two again. Yeah, and that's why we always trade MMRs for sand. That's why we always trade. <laughs> Hi, Captain. And today you're going to be happy because we're going to have a bunch of raids in this episode. Um. About the delivery men, the delivery men already are working differently now. The delivery men are not running around um, pointlessly from building to building to check if there is anything. The delivery men now wait for requests to pick stuff up. So they're not going to do useless stuff anymore. Although one of the things I... Like my list for this... Um, um, my general list for all of this is actually a threefold. So the first part is going to be the builder creating those batches, those buckets of items after creating those batches and then intelligently picking things up. Then the next part would be the builder... Yeah, the town looks pretty amazing. I'm kind of sad. But the nice thing is that this is going to become my, de my debug world where I'm going to debug um, deliveries and request system issues. So I'm still going to be able to fairly enjoy it. <laughs> um, so after the builder creating those batches and using them to go back and forth, he's also going to request those batches. And then the final thing is the delivery man also handling things more intelligently. And that means the delivery man is going to pick up batches like the delivery man has a task to go to the builder to deliver 64 wood and if he got the task he's going to check is there anything else I have to bring to the builder and if there is so he's going to pick up a certain additional quantity uh, what was the concrete isn't this the right concrete ah, I need die not Okay. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to use this world still for debugging. So that's going to be still pretty useful. Especially the delivery man, we're noticing they're a little bit slow. So that's going to be fairly interesting to use this world here to debug the delivery man. Meanwhile, uh, I'm going to use this here. I need some light to get a bit of concrete the builder needs. Um, to be completely honest, I have no idea what these minecarts are going to be for. No, no idea at all. I think Asher was talking about that it would be neat to have like minecart integrated systems with a query, and then Odd uh, thought to themselves, "Oh, Asher wants me to make a lot of different custom minecart models." Could be. So I think that is basically the story of that. So we're going to see how that's going to. Yes, if you make your own roads and you put waypoints on them, they're still going to use it. A concrete... Yeah, but then I have to build underground. Yee, that's ugly. Now, underwater, I mean. Or do you mean something like... I don't know. That seems kind of slower than what I'm doing right now. Now that's kind of... Feel slower at least. So our next colony will be which style? Fortress? <laughs> no, we're going to have already a fortress colony at spawn though. Okay. 
the spawn colony is going to be a need fortress colony. That's nice. And a, a huge one in that. Yeah, of course. I had to tell Erevan that 150 citizens at spawn is maybe not a good idea. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> because it, yeah, to be honest, uh, our colonies are fairly resource efficient lately, but... Yeah, it's a good test. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely a good test, we can always um, uh, test that. I wouldn't want to test the fortress, because for one way I'm going to have it at a spawn, and second, it is it needs a lot of preparation work to... to t to build a very neat one, and I kind of like to do things a little bit ad hoc. Yes, you can put waypoints on anything. I mean, some add-ons has a huge kink for the quar uh, spark <laughs> performance <laughs> evaluations. So he's going to be happy about that. White concrete, there we go. I think we need a few additional red ones though. 12. Do we have that maybe in the warehouse? I kind of have a feeling that we have some of those in the warehouse. Ah, I didn't know about that trick, Ingerton. <laughs> I believe that that is what what um, Chia was actually talking about, probably. Wasn't the easiest to put the powder in your offhand and mine with your left click? And then just push both? No, it is... Um, let I'm me see. Um, what did I want here? I wanted to check on concrete. Do we have concrete? No, no concrete. So I'm going to need a bit of red concrete, too. Um, let me get some more... Um, I want more sand. 32 is fine. And I want more gravel. 32 is also fine. Okay. I still didn't get my lapis delivered. There is 64 lapis at the base in the lapis chest, by the way. Wait, uh, hey. We had 64 in our post box. But the request stayed. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, did you bring me? Yes, I got my sand. You're going to bring me my gravel, aren't you? Bernard. No, yes, he did. Great boy. Good boy. Yes, um, you can't place a waypoint abo above an air block. A waypoint always has to be above a, a block. But it can be above the rail. That's not a problem. You can also... Yeah, that's basically the idea. <laughs> Don't jinx it. Don't jinx it, Ninja. Don't jinx it. Yeah, we do have a concrete worker now to take care of that. But we didn't have the time to take care of that in this colony. Can I make red dye from spider eyes? I don't think so. So I need some red dye. Not a lot though. I think two poppies should be fine. Just gotta find those poppies. There we go. Good poppies. Very close. Excellent. That should be enough for this recipe. There we go. And gravel sixteen. I think that was what what's left, wasn't it? We have twenty twelve. Great. I'm going to go to my little water place here again. I know that I could do this trick, but I don't have any place where I wouldn't bother the colony with a water tower. Or 
I would go so far away that this year again is more efficient. Almost. You I really love the red so concrete. Your offhand and then mine with your main hand. Oh, I, I really didn't figure this offhand on hand stuff out yet. <laughs> I can only left use it for shields. Right click is off head, left click is my head. <laughs> and we should definitely get some shields though for the raids later. Oh, I'm never using shields. <laughs> to do combat in 1.7, so there was no... Okay, there we go. That's what you needed, great. Here we're going to have some torches, um, bookshelves, we're totally out of bookshelves, aren't we? I think so. Do we need those bookshelves in our base? I don't Maybe. think so. I mean, we could technically even build buildings by destroying things. By what? By destroying other buildings, like taking down the library <laughs> and kind of moving resources around just to upgrade. Yeah, that is that is always uh, that is always possible. I'm not denying this. I don't think I ever did that, so... Yeah. But, but for inland terms, that's totally well valid. Leo is definitely no Barnaby. I think that is something we all can agree on. So at least Jennifer we... has AI issues. Jennifer has AI issues? Yeah. Oh yo yo. Oh, I'm going to have to go to sleep again already. It's getting night. That was quick. <clears throat> okay. And there we go. You should sell. Did you make two banners already? By the way. Oh. You should probably prepare yourself to get banners. You know. Ah, rallying banners. I will not. Which banners? <laughs> yes, yes, rallying banners. Ah, uh, good idea. <laughs> Since you always die. Yeah, we're going to have some tough raids later on, so we should be kind of prepared. So I put 12, so we only need 10 more bookshelves for the... was it only 10? Double checking. 10, yes. Um, so I think maybe we even have enough of this stuff for that. Um, do we have, like, what is... 10 is 30 books. So we need 30 letter. And... Yay! 90 paper. Don't have a single iron left. No iron left anymore. No. Maybe we have some iron... Ah, she's not working on the waypoints, finally. Great. Don't we have some iron in the... Smeltery? There should be. It's impossible. Check. Yes, there's a lot of iron here. I guess occasionally the smelter doesn't pick up the iron according. I'm bringing it to the warehouse. There we go. Yeah, you missed a lot of amazing raids. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put like a stack of it in the post box. In the middle yeah. of the rest, I just dump normally in the warehouse. Um, here, I'm going to stick with a little bit of it too. Always good to have a little bit. Another waypoint is finished. Great. So that is progressing. Um, did I get already a bunch of the things I actually wanted here? Oh, request system reset, I see. <laughs> Someone is throwing letters at me again, I see, too. What's those words of things you wanted? Leather, not leather. Yeah. 
Beta. No, no, some addons. It's it's official. In the last two episodes, some addons died twice during the raids, and I died once. <laughs> some addons now officially mm -hmm. dies more often than I do. I'm going to get a bunch of ah, uh, a bunch of the other things here. At the warehouse quickly. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm going to steal. Come on. Oh, she got a bit of paper, 18 at least she made. Oh, she's crafting books, actually. Did, did you request books just now? No. Ah, I think the... One of our workers requested the books, most likely. So I need 90, another 60 only. That's an eat. <laughs> oh, and that is another few. Do you have a work table here? You don't, right? Poor girl. I don't have work issue without a work table. Yeah, potentially we could add that the worker that the builder doesn't ha after a building doesn't have to return to the Builder Hut directly if he has a new task. That would potentially reduce a little bit of running back and forth. Although it's a kind of waypoints are kind of an edge case of not needing resources, right? Uh, to the warehouse I wanted to go. There we walk. Now oh, she's finishing. She's coming along. Our currently best builder, obviously. Oh, here's a bunch of leather. Nice. Just the first place I looked at a bunch of leather. Not leathers. Leather. <laughs> Just to make sure there's no confusion there. Oh, I ne never confuse it. <laughs> I'm sure you don't. Okay. Books. I'm making a lot of books. This is nice. There we go. Drop off the remainder. And I need oak logs now, too. Oak. 64. There we go. <laughs> I think Ninja Chipmunk is creating a similar obsession with letters as you are. Someday I, I build some trap where you fall into and trigger a redstone circle which just throws letters at you from any direction. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of have the feeling that when some Adams has to sleep alone at night, he goes to his uh, construction shop and uh, lends himself a letter to sleep not alone at night. Kind of have, have this feeling a little bit. Um, your inventory space, why do you fear your inventory space? Um, we have a lot of inventory space. We got like, what, 27? No, more. 34 inventory. Some letters? Ah, because some letters throwing around letters. Yeah, I would totally expect some add-ons starting dropping in letters in other people's inventories as well. On the new server, then. On It doesn't even allow you to put three dots. That's kind of bad. Bad nightbot. Very bad nightbot. I think I'm going to have to configure that. Imagine someone has a name that has three times. 
the same letter in it. There we go, o'clock. So I don't have to wait. Um, and we're going to want to make bookshelves. So I learned, people taught me, that on the left click things go better. See? I do learn. I do learn. I do learn. I just did it right. <laughs> um, putting off those books. What else do we need? Blue slate spruce shingles and blue laid slate shingle slabs. I kind of have a feeling that we might have a, some a bunch of those. Yes, I do learn. Um, blue slate. Can I have a feeling that we have something of that in the in the warehouse? Blue slate spruce shingles. Sixteen. Yeah, that seems like a lot. Um. So I'm still going to need the spruce planks. There was it here. Spruce logs there. I'm going to drop off a bit of that chunk here. Um, and do we have bricks in the warehouse, by the way? I don't need the oak log anymore. I need bricks now. Do we have that? 64 brick? No. Deliver what do you have? 35, that's good enough. Let me see if we have some underground there too. Maybe you put four points by accident. It happens even to the best. Oh, there we got some bricks. That's neat. Um, so make some sticks. And those are the outer line. Sticks and spruce. Now that's clay. I want... Oh, Lord. I don't want clay. I want slate shingles. That was close. Blue slate shingles. That is cobblestone. That's actually much cheaper than using the other stuff. <laughs> ah, were you, weren't you making those, by the way? No. What did you need the lapis for then? Uh, blue. I made some carpets for the answer builder. Ah, okay. You were taking care of Chenny. Um, spruce planks. Okay. Um, cobblestone. Oh, we got a pirate ship already. <laughs> it is, uh, it's not even triggered. And we didn't even trigger it on purpose yet. Northeast. Northeast. Should that seems our... next to the university, isn't it? University, yes. Okay. It's kind of the worst place for them to attack because that's where we have the least defenses. Yeah, but we have some. I'm going to start running there now. Oh yeah, I can see the ship. I can see it too. Oh, that, that one's fairly close. Yeah. There you go. So, I'm going to wait a little bit. Let me just wield my build tool a second. That is... Okay, the ship is within the colony, so that's good. But I don't have a lot of food with me anymore. And that's bad. Okay, so I'm going to swim to the ship now. Dive is probably the better word. Yeah, me too. Okay. Ow. Ow. So I'm going to go to the other side of the ship. <laughs> okay, that worked. Running. One we got. Oh, wow. 
Oh wow. That was kind of really get stronger. <laughs> they really get really stronger. And I have fully enchanted armor by the way. And you don't have the Did you die as well? Not bad. I'm swimming. And you didn't get any banner yet, right? No, I didn't set it yet. Uh, I don't didn't craft it yet. I needed some yellow wool. Can't I? I thought this thing with the soul worked. It's not working. I oh, know it worked. I died too. Okay, that was at least halfway. Okay, or oh, a lot of. The guards started walking bad, brother. Back probably. Two we got. Uh, not dying while walking. How many did you destroy yet? <laughs> I couldn't even get on it. Wow. Those are hitting hard. <laughs> Those are hitting hard. And our guards are getting wiped out. <laughs> So running back and the guards are the barbarians are in the colony already the pirates hey they're all over the colony oh lord jump okay Don't do that. okay I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Do we have one up here as well? Is there one here? No. On the other side. Are, is this you jumping up, going up the thing? Yeah. No. Ah, yes. Okay, there's a nun here. Ouch. Do I have some food? Yes. <laughs> I see some Adams was killed as well. Damn it. I think we can agree that the scale is at the moment a bit extreme. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> It's fine. It's like this guy in the room burning. It's fine. I just died seven times and twenty guard and thirty guards died. It's totally fine. Yes. And I w and he is the one who wasn't able to destroy a single spawner on this ship. Just to tell you, I destroyed all the spawners on this ship. Oh, nice. Wait, you are supposed to, to control our guards. <laughs> Damn it. So how my how much guards have we left of these? Like none? No, we have a few left. We have a few left even. And where's my special Bow. Here, there, here we are. Wrong bow. Okay. Okay, we are dealing with it. Okay. <laughs> Some errands died again. <laughs> One hit brings me to like three hearts there. Uh, what kind of armor do you have? Do I have en enchanted armor at least or so? Yeah, for pirate armor. It's diamond level armor. Enchanted? Yeah, but not with protection, just mending. Okay, yeah. Okay. Come with me, guards. We can do this. And I think some enemies should get some enchanted gear. Wait, no. Don't do that. 
So one of our citizens died, I see. Now it starts. We got a lot of pirates walking around. A researcher died now too. Okay, nice. We got that one down as well. Yeah, I should probably not fall into the canyon now. Okay. We're going... F We're progressing. I'm almost dead. Ah, that was close, William. And I'm seeing pirates all over our colony, and I see citizens all over colony, all over a colony as well. And I need some food here urgently. A kid was killed right now. Did you see this? We had one die before too. Oh no. Ouch. I died now too. He just walked into the restaurant and just killed me. Cold hearted. Oh wow. Pirate captain on the loose. That's why I'm taking so much damage. Why? Because that mod uh, gave me mail armor from some god. Uh, and I'm not wearing my armor. That's why the captain almost two-hitted me. Because the, the mod put on the wrong armor. And I need food. There's no food anymore left here in this restaurant. Do we have some halfway decent food here in the in the warehouse quickly? Because I'm out of food. We have some more raw fish or so. Yeah, some at least some carrots or so. Do we have some food here? Raw beef? That's better than nothing. I think we got the most pirates. Yeah, I think we defeated most of the pirates. I'm Did seeing one, one here. One is on top of our barracks. Yeah, that's what I saw as well. Who allowed him? Wait, no! Don't do that! Stop it! Ow! That ow! That hurts! Stop it! Ugh. I guess that was the last one. Wow. Did it say so? Huh? It didn't say so yet, did it? No, to be honest, it didn't. And it sailed away. Damn it. Didn't even get any of the good loot. Again. Again. <laughs> we just... don't need it no more. I, th I think we should maybe let the guard the, the ship a little bit. Yeah, though, to be honest, the loot is pretty good, so maybe we shouldn't. Yeah. What is it? Oh, that guard has a lot of armor on her. <laughs> So let's see how many died. Um, I died. One pupil. One knight. One, two, three, four, five, s uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, around 30 and a bit. 
got to say, last time we fought by pirates, we were much better. Yeah, but I think it's because the pirates scaled up a good bit. They were not so so deadly the last time. But I think a lot of our guards also died because of being stuck while walking back. Hey, I did tell you how many times to make a banner. <laughs> I was crafting one and then we get to, got a pirate ship. I was <laughs> waiting for a delivery man to bring me yellow wool for that banner thing. Well, damn it. So this was tough. And not planned. And not planned. So how many do we have? 14 guards here still. Three guards on the other. I hired some new ones already, as much as I could. Yeah, I think around 12 or so of those guards survived in the end. I hired eight new ones, I think. Um, and we have a lot of stuff in an inventory. We are playing on hard mode. That's why it's a little bit more powerful. This is not as difficult in the normal mode. Do we have a cook? What is, what is Gwen doing, by the way? Yeah, this stack request for potato. I'll take care of it. I think now he should get his food delivered from the warehouse again. Um, meanwhile, I have to drop all of this stuff here. Um, yes. Yeah, but we are in hard mode. The hard mode should also increase their damage and armor, right? And it increases damage and health. Yeah. Um, uh, the... 50% more. 50% more, that's a decent quantity. Yeah. So it really is hard mode. Yes, yeah, it, it really is hard mode. Mine Colony's hard mode is not... Uh, not easy. <laughs> Definitely not. Um, I got a bunch of armor and other useless stuff in this restaurant. Instead of food, we have things that are not food. They're not supposed to be here. We have swords and all kinds of things here in the warehouse. Okay, to dump these things again. Uh, this here, this here, this here, this here, this here, this here. And those all here. Okay. Not going to, not going to need either. There we go. Um, at the sick touch I can store. And those are going to be useful. Some of those arrows I won't need anymore. We are down to 60 citizens. Yeah, that was kind of very tough. It's because they also... Like 30 citizens. Yeah, I calculated 30 pretty much. <laughs> so my estimate going through the list seemed to end up pretty accurate. Yeah. Um, yes, all of this stuff here. It's not supposed to be here in that hat. Imagine if it wasn't the last day. Yeah. yeah. Although it ended up like we didn't lose any of the yeah, high level we lost, workers. We lost, we lost. Except for some high level guards. <laughs> yeah, there were high level guards that kind of turds. But we lost only two civilians, so that's not as bad as it could be. Yeah. And our guards do still have quite some room for improvement since we could give them diamond stuff. Yeah, we could give them They're some. Only using mail. Mail isn't the best armor. 
Of course, we don't have so many diamonds. <laughs> Um, and the problem is always the scaling in your 10 it's because for an early level colony each of these um, pirates is, uh, is going to need only two hits and on normal mode only one hit already so if we make it too easy it's going to be very difficult to scale it between the different game modes like we do and one also intended to to be killed alongside our guard, your guards and, and just, you just go along there and kill them all and the other thing is better. like Sam Adams is saying the idea we have is not you going to the pirate ship alone and taking care of the of the raiders the idea is that uh, that you need our guards for this so I think if something has improvement, then we have to fix a few of these AI issues of the guards a little bit. Yeah. I think... But I'm planning to do some guard and trade stuff soon. Yeah, but Sam Adams is currently finishing off some things with the um, tavern. Um. And afterwards, I think, yeah, he's going to probably do some guard stuff. Now first the icons. Ah, but well, that's 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 like uh, half a day of yes. work. Shouldn't be much. Not an hour of work, maybe. We do have image and all these kinds of things already. Yeah, I don't think I don't get why it shouldn't work. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but the problem is like if if we like you saw the I'm wearing protection three, only boots are not protection three, and hi House of Dogos, how are you? Um, I'm already wearing protection three stuff, and the bosses of the raiders already kill me in what three hits five four hits five hits that's not a lot of hits they need to kill me so if we make this essentially more damage then they're like one hit <laughs> masters right and that might be a little bit even over the top i think the main thing that actually does need some work is the scaling of the guards. The guards are a little bit... Not not necessarily the scaling, the guards deal a lot of damage. The problem is more that they sometimes get derpy. Yeah, the AI, the AI mainly. Sometimes they get stuck into eating tasks or sickness... No, not eating, but mainly eating tasks or some other things. Or want to walk somewhere and are not actually fighting, and especially the uh, the archer guards. Uh, at the moment, a little bit useless, I feel. Yeah, they tend to die a lot. While normally they are quite strong since they evade enemies when they get close. Yes, yeah, so I believe that especially the archers, we should um, check them out a little bit and see if we can balance them a little bit better, so that they. Can evade damage a little bit more. Eh, but the problem is that I died, and that's when they started dying, right? <laughs> Our guards really had the problems of starting to die after I died, and then they yeah, got stuck wanting to walk time. back. Here, take some food. Yeah, the, the like I said, the general idea of the archers is to make them 
fight a bit more range based and that you can put them better on towers and these kinds of things. They do too little damage. No, it's because I think the falling in the water stuff also. But we can test it out as well, yes. We're going to we are going to download this world. So we will be able to test out how the guards are going to do against these kinds of threats basically. And can then try out different possibilities of handling these things. But yeah, I think the main problem was really that... I guess the thing of putting the rallying banner in one location is definitely one of the things we will need a lot. Polished and the sides we now yeah. need. Yeah, the archers seem to r try to follow me too closely. I guess we should maybe use the have the relling banner the guards, not the archers following me more loosely and the knights more closely. Bit stronger probably. And in general have the ability to put down the the banners. I think that would be a huge improvement as well. Wink wink. Hint hint. Um what did I want here? And the sign. Yes, but I could for example put one banner on the shore and take one banner with me and put the banner on the ship right that would that would that would be what i would do one banner on the ship one banner on the shore and then if i die my guards are still going to continue defending the ship when i have time to get there and pick up my grave without being killed again yeah um and the side Oh, we have 394 on the side, so that should be fine. How much is it here? More than that? 364, great! We have 30 more than we need. So... But we would really love a pirate raid from this direction again. It's been a while. From that direction is kind of the worst possible direction to get the raid from because we don't have such a good direction. Yes, we we have to balance that out definitely. I mean the guards also do need a bunch of hits to be taken down yeah, in fairness. It's that the fighting takes a while. So we do not I do not expect to hit the pirate waves and then pirates and guards falling <laughs> falling equally. I expect them to hit the waves and then see them fighting each other for a while. And since the first wave is like 5 6 pirates and I have 20 40 guards, I should be able to advance fairly well. Um, meanwhile, I wanted to Take this granite here. I'm going to build a bit more another line of protection alongside this shore here. In case we get another one. We are also getting soon our witch worker, I think. Yes, we're also going to get a witch worker in the in the future. And one option would be actually, pre and hi Irish Chef, how are you? And one option would be to actually prevent guards from attacking while rallied. And only when the banner is actually placed. Oh, that would be neat, I think. So they play, 
they actually only follow me as long as I have the tool and when I place it then they will start fighting. I think that sounds like a neat idea as well. What do you think, Sam Adams? Only when you place it. Can be difficult. Maybe maybe there should be a button in the in the tool where I can define the behavior. Like I can say follow only or follow and defend. Yeah, uh, something like aggressive, defensive, passive also. Yeah, like a, a, a mode, aggressive or passive, exactly. And then depending on that mode, they would then... Uh, yeah, like, to be honest, even Age of Empires had those modes. My brass had stances as well. A action bar with skills, for sure, when you're on it. <laughs> but yes, Age of Empires also had that when you had like troops and were having troops walk somewhere. They had they had that option that they were would only fight if very close, but would continue to follow you. So. That should improve the situation the next time a little bit. It's going to make it... Ow, no, n not this. Um, and yes, like some Adam said, we have Minecraft Shirley working on a witch worker. That is actually going to um, heal and give buffs as well as throw damage potions. And that kind of ignores um, poison, and poison and damage, and that kind of ignores uh, armor as well. So having a third guard type would probably f balance that further in favor of the guards, definitely. Yeah. Especially the regeneration part for elite, elite guards. Yes. And... Some Adams also talked um, already about it to have something like a elite guard type, like over a certain level with certain circumstances, there's a chance that your guard is going to become an elite and then the guard is going to have twice the stats or something like that. Yeah, and you can have like one per barracks or so. And you can have one elite per barracks. So that would be kind of like a pirate captain, but in your one of your guards. Um, you are asking about multi-shot, but there is a research to have archers d shoot multiple arrows already. Yeah, it would be kind of like a hero unit, yes, exactly. Yes, yes, the idea would be that the guard captain needs to, it's like, like I said, under certain circumstances, a high level captain has a chance with every additional kill to level up, to become elite, right? And after killing uh, maybe raiders, that chance further increases, right? Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Not very can. So Gwen is now requesting a bunch of food, finally. But it seems we're... are we out of potatoes, really? Can't believe that we're out of potatoes, let me... Did some citizen just eat all potatoes, just to annoy Ray? We are all out of potatoes! Damn it. Really? I think... He's not oh, planting oh, potatoes, right? That's the one gets put. No, here potato f that's a potato field. I see a ton of citizens eating potatoes in our restaurant. 
I just gave them potatoes from my personal stock. <laughs> That's very generous. Very generous. It's because we didn't have a farmer. <laughs> oh. I think question answered. Hey. Yes. I think we could call the person just a knight. Like the knight title. Or an, probably just sir in front. That would be like the knight title, right? Yeah. Oh lord. Lord, sir. And it, there would be a chance that when you pack passed by them, they hit you and they say, walk, peasant. <laughs> Uh, the infinite possibilities of a Minecraft mod, right? Yeah. Um...